Okay, now let's just talk about Dwayne Wade and his former son Zion, who wants to be identified as a girl and called by the name Zion. Now, I've been watching this case unfold over the past couple weeks. Now, the question is this why is it that Dwayne Wade feels that his son's sexuality is for public consumption? Whether your son decides that he wants to transition from a boy to a girl, that is not for public consumption. That's a family affair and it should include some professional counseling as well. Now, I do understand that Dwayne Wade won full custody over his ex-wife for his two boys. No, we'll be connecting some dots and definitely be asking critical questions because over the last few years, there is a growing trend. The American justice system is granting legal sole custody to fathers for their young children, especially fathers of boys. Right? There is definitely a trend and we'll be looking at that as well. No, we do understand that this is a young child and this child should be allowed to grow up, right? Experience the world and then make his decision. That is how I would want it to happen. But this, there seems to be an agenda to be pushing children into the LGBTQ community and I cannot understand why. And where is the biological mother? Why is she left out of this decision? After all, in a 2012 interview, she stated that the father, Dwayne Wade, wanted this child. He insists on she getting pregnant. No. She also made some statement against Gabrielle Union in that interview. No. It is stated that she made a lawsuit against her because she have a negative effect on her children and their behavior. The things she say and do affects her son and the mother is mighty upset about this to the fact that she had a lawsuit against her. What is it that the mother saw in Gabriel Union in 2012 that we did not see? What is going on? Because the biological mother, we haven't heard her voice or we haven't seen her. No, it reminds me of a case, the Jeffrey Younger case, where the mother wanted to transition her biological son into a girl by the name of Luna. The father disagreed. They went to court and the court grant both parents right legal custody of the child now since then a gag order has been placed on both of them and i've not heard anything yet so one parent want her child to transition the other saying no but in the case of duane wade the court took away the rights of the mother and it is only the father's opinion and voice we are hearing and we are seeing nothing about the mother despite the fact that the mother of this child right Zaya as she identify has been with Dwayne Wade since they are they were kids and Dwayne Wade was homeless right and the ex-wife mother put him up and took care of him and this is the respect that she's paid with later on now go and check the interview out it is real talk by Kaita Mayweather Gamble I hope I got her name right where the ex-wife of Dwayne Wade breaks things down for you and let you know her side now this is from 2012 she also stated in that interview that she was abused by her then husband Dwayne Wade while she was pregnant with the child Zion who identify as Zion. Now as I said before we need to connect some dots and ask some important questions. The court is granting wealthy celebrities 
right, wealthy male celebrities full custody of their sons. And in some aspect, the mothers have no say. What is going on? Is this is there a plan to completely take the mothers out of out of the lives of these children? Right? No, let us go down the list. We have firstly Dwayne Wade who got full custody, full rights, and all the say, and his son is transitioning into a girl. We also have Matt Barnes who got full custody of his twin boys. Now, in some case, the mother is able to provide full-time care and a safe environment for these boys while the father worked their busy schedule. But nonetheless, the court grant the father, the wealthy black parent, full sole custody. Right? This is very sinister. And we have Usher Raymond who got full custody as well, despite the fact that the mother was capable of taking care of her boys. Keith Sweat also did the same to his ex wife and got full custody of his two boys. Now, people connect the dots. Really, is the court of the United States making the best decision for these young children? Right? Is the court putting these children in a loving environment? Or is this all a part of a much wider, sinister plan? Bo all of these wealthy black celebrities got two boys. Should we expect later on to hear that Keith Sweat's son, one of them, going into the LGBT community, or Matt Barnes, or Husha Raymond. What is going on? We'll continue to pray and say glory be to the Most High.